सुंदे हुनुन छा रेडियो नेपाल इतिबेला बेलुकी को आठ बजने लागे को छा अब सुन्न हुने छा अंग्रेजी मा समाचार Sapkota with the news. The headlines first. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma will return home after participating in 79th session of UN General Assembly. Death toll from rain-induced disasters across the country reaches 209. 29 people are still go missing. Prime Minister only places to center government efforts on relief, rescue and rehabilitation works. Government forms a special tax force to assess loss and damage caused by rain-induced disasters. And Israel hints at Lebanon invasion as Hezbollah says it's ready for ground offensive. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister K.P. Sharmoli has returned home this afternoon after participating in the 79th United Nations General Assembly in New York. Upon his arrival at Tribune International Airport, the Prime Minister was welcomed at the VVIP lounge by Speaker Deep Raj Kimari, National Assembly Chairperson Narayan Prasad Dahal, and Deputy Prime Ministers Prakash Man Singh and Vishnu Prasad Poudel. Ministers, government officials and heads of security agencies were also present to welcome the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister had embarked on the official visit to the USA on the 20th of September to attend the UN General Assembly held from the 24th to 30th of September at the UN headquarters in New York. The Prime Minister addressed the General Assembly on the 26th of September. In his address, Prime Minister Oli highlighted climate crisis and global inequality. He emphasized the need for global action, including adequate financing for climate adaptation and the establishment of a loss and damage fund for vulnerable countries. During his stay, the Prime Minister attended a reception hosted by U.S. President Joe Biden. He also addressed the conference of least developed countries and the second high-level meeting on antimicrobial resistance. On the sidelines of the UN General Assembly, the Prime Minister held bilateral meetings with the UN General Secretary Antony Guterres, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and other global leaders. Accompanying him were his spouse Radhika Sakya, Foreign Minister Mr. Dr. Arju Rana Dewa, Chief Political Advisor Bishwar Rimal, Secretary Seba Lamsal, and other senior officials. Talking to media persons after arriving at the Tribune International Airport, Prime Minister only said the government now will be focused on immediate rescue relief rehabilitation efforts. Stating that natural disasters are unpredictable, the Prime Minister assured that the government would leave no stone unturned to rescue and rehabilitate the people suffering from rain-induced calamities. The head of the government also urged for cooperation from all sides rather than merely making negative comments against the government. In the meantime, Prime Minister all expressed grief over the loss of lives and properties caused by floods, landslides and inundations. A total of 209 people have lost their lives and 29 others remain missing due to floods, landslides and inundation triggered by incessant rainfall. Nepal Police Central Spokesperson Dan Bahadur Karki reported that 142 individuals were injured in the disasters and are receiving treatment at various health facilities. He also noted that approximately 900 people were rescued today alone. 
The government has decided to gather details of the losses caused by the recent rain in these disasters across the country within the next 15 days by forming a special task force. The effort aims to assess the damage and ensure timely compensation to those affected. A meeting of the National Disaster Risk Reduction Executive Committee, chaired by Home Minister Ramis Lekuk, formed the task force, which includes undersecretaries from relevant ministries. Experts from relevant fields will also contribute to the task force. The meeting decided that relevant ministries will immediately begin the reconstruction of government and public buildings, as well as transport infrastructure, such as roads and bridges, drinking water systems, schools and health facilities. Additionally, the committee recommended that the Council of Ministers approve the disaster-sensitive social security guidelines. The Ministry of Physical Infrastructure and Transport Management has been directed to promptly restore disrupted roadways to help stranded passengers reach their destinations. Meanwhile, the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Authority has stressed the importance of coordination with local levels for distribution of relief materials and rehabilitation to those affected by the recent rain-triggered disasters. Dr. Dizan Vatrai, spokesperson of the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Authority, said the meeting of the authority today decided to carry out relief distribution operations to Rondo Stone and implement relief and rehabilitation operations in coordination among three tier governments. This news comes to you from Radio Nepal. Now it's time for a short break. Landline phone ma samasya cha. 14 98 ma phone garnus. Samasya postpaid ma ni aayo. 14 98 ma phone garnus. Oho samje. Prepaid ko puk number pani chahiya thyo. Tesko lagi pani 14 98 ma phone garnus. Nepal Telecom ko GSM, CDMA, mobile tatha landline ma kunai pani samasya aaye ma je je sodhna man cha 14 98 ma phone garera sodhnu hos. Yo number ma phone garda paisa lagdaina. Nepal Telecom rashtra ko sanchar. Welcome back now the remaining news. Minister for Industry, Commerce and Supplies, Damodar Bhandari, has warned his subordinate bodies about the risk of artificial price hikes and black market supply issues during the festival season, especially in the wake of recent disasters. He emphasized the need for stronger market monitoring to protect consumers. In a meeting today, the minister summoned tips of subordinate bodies and discussed nationwide market monitoring efforts. You are listening to Radio Nepal's 8 p.m. English News Bulletin, now on to some international news updates. Hezbollah's deputy chief has placed that the Lebanese armed group is ready to meet an Israeli ground offensive, despite the killing of its leader and many senior commanders. It, in its first speech, in the first speech, rather, by a high-ranking official since Israel killed Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah, Deputy Chief Naim Qasem, insisted that the Iran-linked Iran -linked, rather, armed group will continue to fight, claiming Israel has not hit Hezbollah's military capabilities. Also recited Qasem as saying Hezbollah will install a new leadership soon via internal mechanisms without offering further details. Meanwhile, Israeli Defense Minister Europe Gallant meeting troops in northern Israel hinted a ground offensive of Lebanon. He said Israel would use all the abilities they have from the air, sea and land. A mere three days after being elected as the new leader of Japan's ruling party, incoming Prime Minister Shigeru Isiva has announced plans for a snap election on the 27th of October. 67-year-old Isiva replaced outgoing Prime Minister Fumio Kishida as chief of the Liberal Democratic Party, LDP, on Friday, following a tight race that saw him securing more votes than any of the other eight candidates. According to the BBC, since the LDP has a parliamentary majority, Ishiba, will be approved as Prime Minister by Parliament on Tuesday. 
Now the GL will forecast for the country tonight. The Meteorological Forecasting Division has forecast the weather to be partly generally cloudy in Kushi province and Madis province, along with the hilly regions of the country, and partly cloudy to mainly fan the rest of the country. Light to moderate rain with thunder and lightning is likely to occur at a few places of Kushi province, Gondaki province, and at one or two places of Madis province and Bagmati province. With this, we have almost come to the end of this news bulletin, but before wrapping it up, let's have a remind of the headlines once more. Prime Minister Kipi Sharmoli returns home after participating in the 79th session of the UN General Assembly. The toll from rain-induced disasters across the country reaches 209. 29 people still go missing. Prime Minister only pledges to center government efforts on relief, rescue and rehabilitation works. Government forms a special tax force to assess loss and damage caused by rain-induced disasters. And Israel hints at Lebanon invasion. As Hezbollah says, it's ready for ground offensive. Well, that's the end of this news bulletin from Read and Pearl for this hour. Also visit our website www.onlineradionapal.gov.nv for more news and online programs. Our next news in English is at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Stay tuned and have a good night. <laughs> राष्ट्रको सुन्दै हुनुहुन्छ रेडियो नेपाल अब हामी केही लोकगीत राख्दै छौँ पहिलो लोकगीत छ सूर्य थुलुङ तीर्थकुमारी हिरादेवी राई र साथीहरूको स्वर नवीन गुरुङको संकलनमा 